Okay everyone, we got another UCC brand uh, freebie car model. So UCC is a Japanese canned coffee beverage company. They sell cans of coffee. I've tried them, they're pretty good. They're very sweet though, a little too sweet for my liking. And they would have had uh, two cans actually stuck into the bottom of this thing. And this is a freebie, I guess. I wasn't free for me, unfortunately. I don't know how old this model is, but I definitely had to buy it. But I have a history with this brand, and for something that came free, I think they're pretty good, actually. I'm trying to see if there's a year on this thing, but I don't see it on the front there. Let's see about uh, this card here. I don't know if this is, must mean it's like collection number five. I know they have several different collections. I suppose I should actually scan that one of these days and maybe try to find out more information, but that's not going to happen now because I'm a pretty lazy person, so I apologize. Alright, let's take a look at these images here. And, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. The CLK DTM AMG uh, was made to celebrate Mercedes the CLK winning the German Touring Car Championship, also known as the DTM. And uh, they s made a few versions for the road, not too many though, only 100 coupes, and then later, well, 100 coupes were sold in 2004, and then later, 80 convertibles were sold in 2006. And uh, they're only available in the European market, and by invitation only, according to uh, Wikipedia. They sold out instantly, and they sold for 240,000 euros, somewhere in that ballpark. And then a lot of Formula One drivers were either given these cars or actually bought these cars. Like Jensen Button, Kimi Raikkonen, uh, Mika Hakkinen, Pablo Montoya, Juan Pablo Montoya, Takuma Sato. Those are the five listed on the internet there, so I imagine this car actually must drive pretty well. It's supposed to have a 5.4 liter V8 here, making uh, around 570 horsepower. It's supposed to get up to almost 200 miles per hour, uh, 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, and then it's supposed to be able to pull 1.35 Gs in a turn, so that's pretty impressive. Okay, so that's all I learned. Hopefully that information is correct. I apologize if it is not. Look at it, I mean, looking at the casting here, I mean, the silver paint is not super splotchy. It looks all right. Uh, the wheels are pretty nicely casted, I think. Uh, maybe some paint's missing there, but I mean, they molded in the little s the, the star logo, and then the spokes themselves. It's interesting. They seem to have blanked off the spokes there, and then also molded in, you know, a rotor into the wheel. I guess it's not bad, you know, again, for a freebie. And they do have the little, you know, lug nut not lug nuts, the little perimeter bolts there. I'm not sure if this is a real two-piece wheel or, or what. I assume it is, being a Mercedes, but the panel gaps here, they're not, they're not too bad, they're not super wide. The flush door handle seems okay. Uh, naturally, the real car would have some black there because it's an air vent, and probably there as well, but, you know, again, it's a free vehicle, which also explains why this has black windows. There's no interior cost cutting there. Uh, yeah, all right. So we do at least have some printing of the Mercedes uh, star there in blue. And then this is nicely painted as well. We have plastic inserted heights, which look pretty good. Nice black texture here. And I think this is probably part of the base casting problem there. Some uh, molded in wiper blades there. It's interesting, yeah, they actually did mold the black out of the window, even though the whole thing is black. It's interesting. So the glass is but is glossy, but the, the molding is like a matte texture. So that's really smart on UCC's part, or whoever makes these things for UCC. Okay, this side. Yeah, I don't know. Some paint missing there. Okay. This tiny plastic wing is a separate piece. Seems alright. It's really nice, actually, the wing. Third brake light is printed nice. CLK is nice. AMG looks good. The taillights are painted. Which I'm a, I can accept for something that came free with two cans of coffee. 
I mean, they're at least painted all right. And then, well, the exhaust tips are kind of lame. There's no dimensionality, but there's at least silver paint on it. And then you got these slicks here, which actually for a car like this might make sense. And it's nice to see that it's screwed together. So if you want to do a wheel change, you could. I'm pretty happy with these wheels though myself. I'm gonna leave them the way they are. And yeah, these things do roll well. And I think maybe it's because this axle is super thick. That's a really thick axle. So maybe it's for crush standards with Jap Jap Japanese uh, toys or something like that. Although I don't know if this is considered a toy because it's sold with some, well it's free with some coffee again. Okay, well anyways, uh, I think it's a pretty nice model. It's uh, sure doesn't, the only thing lacking is it doesn't have the uh, plastic tail lights, but free again. Magic word of the day is free, although not for me. All right, well, let's take a, a look at some uh, other vehicles here. And we'll also put this up here to spin in front of its photo. So, Mini GT has another their own DTM car, relatively recent, the Benz 190E. Actually, it's a different different time frame, but it is a Mercedes, and it's a really nice model. Um, I'm quite happy with it. I do know that like Inno 64 and Tarmac, I think, makes a 190E, but uh, I just went with the cheaper option. I don't need to have the very nicest of every model I get, obviously, because I'm willing to buy that thing but uh, proportion wise seems similar okay and then Kyosho actually made a uh, CLK DTM as well and this one actually is in, is in a uh, racing livery so now to me it's almost like this is actually a nicer model on the front end something about the Christmas Christmas of the uh, molding it seems it just seems nicer whereas the uh, Kyosho seems a little blobby like like it's a used bar of soap or something and these canards are really thick because they're actually die-cast metal not plastic and uh well I mean those mirrors do stick out further but these seem okay they seem relatively accurate to the road car but I will give Kyosho, the plus side on the uh, wheels, these are really nice wheels. Nicely, much crisper printing than what's going on back there. Okay, and then the Kyosho does have an interior, it's just all black though. And then Kyoshos are going to have the uh, plastic uh, lenses in most cases on their models, so that's nice too. Okay, well. Still, it's nice to see, for me to have a, a road-going version and a race version now of these uh, very interesting cars. I think these, yeah, yeah. There's not, no other statistics for me to read off. But what's going on with my solar spinner? Sorry, I was actually touching the monitor. Okay. So, if you uh, love the CLK DTM AMG, you might want to look this up. Uh, the brand is UCC, like uh, right there. The Good Coffee Smile. That's a strange slogan. Good Coffee Smile. All right, whatever. Okay, well, I appreciate you guys uh, chiming in, and uh, hope to hear from you. Hear from you in comments.